This is JS Fiddle. It's a place where you can play with some code. Start out with, up here is the HTML section. This is where CSS would go. This is where JavaScript would go. This isn't what we'll be using during the semester for understanding HTML deeper, though this will be a place to go play with some code because what's missing from here is the whole document setup of the page. This will be just a fragment of the total code to make your page work. This would be good enough to get started. So if I just type in the word hi and click run, off in the bottom right hand corner, this is the preview of what was coded with HTML. If I delete the word hi and hit run again, you can see it's gone. To save this document, just click on save and click on save again. And this will be the URL that if you open up a new browser window or share this link, it will lead back to this JS Fiddle web page with your code on it. And the first thing that we're going to create is a bio. I'm going to IMDB and I'll copy from Lady Gaga's IMDB. Let's say two random paragraphs. I'll start up here and I'll paste it here. And then I'll go back to that page and let me pick this paragraph and the one beneath it and I'll copy those. And I'll press a space in the coding area just to give it a little visual room. However, when I hit run, you can see that all that space will go away because HTML doesn't respect space. In order to get space around content, you have to code it in. And the first tag that we'll learn is the paragraph tag. The paragraph tag starts out with P and ends with a slash P. And this is called the start of the tag and this is the end of the tag. Within that tag, I could take this content and paste it there. And when I hit run, you can see now the first paragraph has space, but the rest doesn't. And I'll have to repeat that for each paragraph. So P slash P, copy or cut and paste, and then P slash P, cut and paste. And now when I hit run, the formatting looks better. This whole content from the paragraph's opening tag to its closing tag and the content in between is called an element. Pages have multiple elements. In between the tag is called the element's content. Not all tags have content. There are some empty elements. We'll learn about this more during the semester. For now, tags have an opening statement, unless they're an empty tag, and a closing statement, which is the start of the tag, less than sign p greater than sign and the end of the tag less than sign slash p greater than now, p is the def definition of a paragraph tag if we want something else let's say italics around lady gaga's name we will use the italics tag which is i or we would use em which means emphasis em slash em, start of em, end of em. Let's go back to the italics tag. And we'll talk about the difference between italics and emphasis coming up soon during the semester. I'm going to cut Lady Gaga's name and paste it in between the tags. So this is the element's content is Lady Gaga and surrounded with the italics tag, the start of the tag, the end of the tag. And when I hit run, see Lady Gaga is now in italics. Let's pick out something to bold. Maybe this gross 227.4 million. Italic ta tag was the I. So bold is B. So bold tag and within there, I'll cut this and I'll paste it and then hit run. And now you have a bold piece of text. These are the three tags we'll be using this week. Surfing the web and taking a bio to work with and converting it into paragraphs, italics, and bolds. What we learned is, let me erase all this, 
hit run, it's all gone again. There are openings and there's a closing tag. Opening was, is also called the start of the tag and this is called the end of the tag. The totality from beginning to the end of the tag is called an element. And some elements have content within there. And if I run this, run this, there's that content. Now we're not seeing the paragraph part until we hit another tag like this and I hit run. And now you can see there's spacing. So each tag will have a different action upon the page. A paragraph tag makes a block of space. So what we also have seen, if I hit undo a few times and go back to this, not all tags make blocks of space. So there are block tags, like the paragraph tag, and there's inline tags. One inline tag is italics, bold, things that you use to stylize text. Another inline tag that we'll learn about during the semester is the image tag, because you have images that can show up in the middle of a paragraph. And so we'll explore also how you create structure with block elements and then also modify text using inline elements within your web page.